Hi. How's it going? I'm Heather. I'm Josh. And we're the Lapids. And <laughs> today we are ra- reacting to Baby Monster Last Evaluation, Episode 6. Yes. Um, we had the first few solo vocal solo performances and i'm we obviously will have the last few um and then they're probably going to leave us with a cliffhanger at the end with either a ranking or something like that rora asa farida they all killed it last episode Um, yeah lots of ballads uh yeah um minus uh, asas Mm mm-hmm Excited to see um, everyone else. Oh, yeah, Chiquita. They left us hanging on. It was about to be Chiquita's performance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, very excited. Um, do you have any thoughts before we just jump in? Nope. Let's jump in. Let's go. How she killed it. She's going crazy. Aurora? Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to go. I'm not sure if I'm going to go. I'm not 이 평가가 진짜 얼마 평가라고 생각해 주시면 좋을 것 같고요. 개개인의 역량과 실력과 고스란히 전달될 거라는 생각이 듭니다. 후회하지 않는 무대를 만들고 싶어요. 모조리 다 보여드리고 싶어요. 무대에서 빛나는 로라가 되겠습니다. 이 무대를 하기 위해서 매 순간 순간마다 간절하게 임했으니까 oh, okay. 4년 동안 연습한 만큼의 무대를 Ooh, 보여드리겠습니다. Let's go. 저는 잘할 거예요. <laughs> that was a <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, Olivia Rodrigo mm-hmm. I didn't really like the arrangement. I liked her voice. Her voice, yeah. Her voice sounded good. They changed it. It wasn't too different. Yeah, it was. was it? Yeah, it's like they almost slowed it down in a weird way too. I don't know. I feel like that arrangement wasn't was kind of like hindering her vocal performance a bit. I haven't listened to the original one enough. Yeah, I mean, she sounded great, but I feel like like them adding those like dish, oh, dish, like uh, it was kind of like live taking away or something. Like, well, there they it doesn't have those like drums oh. in the 
or if there are drums in the original so- song, it's not, it's like way, 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 way more subtle. It doesn't like hit like that. Um, so that was a little distracting and weird, but she sounded really good. I like the, when she did like the, when she says like betrayed, mm-hmm. it's like uh, oh, when shit. it picks up a little bit. Yeah. Um, she did like a, kind of like a whisper yeah, yeah, yeah. falsetto thing. Yeah. She has really good vocal control. Let's see. Sure as hell me. That, mm-hmm. at the end the break the little break yeah like betrayed oh no i don't know it was sick um i do kind of feel like though she was trying to like emulate that like singing Indie style sound? yeah a bit a little bit but i don't know it worked i, I mean it sounds song. good on her but i kind of wish she didn't do it as much because her voice is like already so like pretty without it yeah but i mean it works with the song well yeah because that's how olivia sings that's what i'm saying though it's like it sounded like she was trying to emulate the way like olivia rodrigo sings the song yeah Where were we? Here. oh yeah couldn't even tell that she was sick. Oh, I forgot. <laughs><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> 너무 너무 잘했다. 너무 너무 잘했어요. 아 감정 잤어. <웃음> 되게 행복했어요. Yeah, she's really good at emoting. Ooh, let's go. Uh, Japanese member. 모두가 그래도 일곱 명 중에서 가장 힙합적인 like... 요소를 지니고 있는 친구. I feel like you never know what to expect with the rappers. I know. It's like always like, like what are they gonna do? <laughs> yeah, also it's crazy. Like. Yeah, she's rapping and singing, mm-hmm. and uh, she went off. And then just, like, the way she, like, switches up her flows and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'll we'll see. I kind of don't remember Ruka's, like, I always kind of forget sometimes their, like, rap styles until, like, I hear them again, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's dependent on the song, too. Yeah. Like, their rap style. Mm-hmm. Well. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh my goodness. That's one way to do it. <laughs> How are they going to ruin her vibe like that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Damn. That's very, very bold. Hey. Go ahead. Just get this straight for a second. I'm a work. Even if I don't get paid for forget you, I'm a get everything that I do. It's electric. I'm a keep it in a much and keep it muffin like. Hey, put 
to cipher yeah i know she practically <laughs> just had her own cipher with herself <laughs> um, yeah, a baby monster cipher sheesh um that was cool because the first song was like all english oh uh, yeah and then when she switched to cl it went into korean and then there was a little bit of english at the end too um but that's pretty impressive that she like had that whole first yeah. verse in just then, all english and then even in the middle of um, when she was doing the CL's track, mm-hmm. she like kind of switched it up. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. I feel like she really showed um, like her stage presence in that performance. Yeah. Like really. out of everybody so far, like that was like the most like stage presence. And like she was like really working it. Like she almost looked like she was having her own little concert. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah, it was really good. I'm um, interested to see what the mentors say because they kind of – a lot of them had like kind of poker faces. Yeah. Like very stoic almost. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was pretty damn good. I did too. Let's see what they say. It has a ton of potential. Yeah. <laughs> and the little hip thrusting at the little hip popping at the end. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Get it. She was just feeling that was, that it. Was she was feeling it. Oh my gosh. Lee Jung probably liked that. Mm-hmm. Dang, if Lee Jung says you're cool, you're cool. That's it. She's the R&B girl. Jasmine Sullivan, pick up your feelings. This is the song. Ooh, 
Feeling herself after that one. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, yeah. Sheesh. That was actually insane. Yeah. So I don't think you don't sound like you know who Jasmine Sullivan is. Nope. Okay. So for those that don't know, Jasmine Sullivan is an American um r&b singer who's like w known for being like one of the best like r&b singers um and her songs are all like really hard to sing um and her just picking this song alone i feel like is like pretty ballsy um but she pretty like i don't know this song but just based off her performance i feel like she like killed it she went fucking crazy dude that was like that was like stage ready vocals <laughs> right there. I feel like too, like um, she has a very uh, unique and like mature style. Yeah, she sounds like someone like an R and B artist out here. I, I can't even put my finger on it, but yeah, she does have like um, she's yeah, she does remind me of someone too. Like Western, but, but I can't like Western, but. figure out who it is either. Um, but yeah, I just I really like her style. I feel like I I might have said in the like introduction video of hers that i didn't like her st i don't remember there was someone that i didn't really I like her. she was like the first one I, I i really liked her um but i really like like she seems like a true like r&b girl at heart yeah she's always picking like r&b songs um which it suits her like singing style and yeah i just really like she just has like a very mature vibe to her yeah she uh, that is excellent yeah and it's very very um like effortless too like she was yeah. just kind of just like vibing and like very like mellow i think this was like the craziest vocal performance so far on mm -hmm. this series yeah the the riffs and like the jumps yeah, between notes were like crazy, crazy. yeah <laughs> oh my and it, all, all, every time she hit a falsetto it was like pretty clean like yeah, every time perfect. yeah that, that was, I, that was flawless. I can't think of any flaws in that <laughs> one. The only thing I will say is that when she does go into her lower register, she does get like pretty mumbly. Like when she did the Korean, like I think it was the part that she wrote, um, the little Korean bridge part. Like, I don't know, maybe just because I don't understand Korean, but it was like hard to understand, like the enunciation. Um, stylistic choice. It is a stylistic choice, but that would be my only thing. Um, other than that, though, I feel like, it matched and suited the song really well. So, yeah. Dude, I want to see what these judges say. I know. That was crazy. Mm-hmm. 
제가 이제 4년 좀 넘게 연습 생활을 하면서 그렇게 계속 막 스쳐가는 거예요. 데뷔하고 싶은 마음이 더 커졌던 것 같아요. Go ahead. 아, 이제 마지막 마지막 나오는 주제가 가장 부담스러울 텐데. 어, 아싸. 아연. 어, 아연, 아연. 하고 난 기쟁이에요. That it kind of this song like I don't know if it's the way she's like if that's how that song sounds like who sings this featuring Post the Malone, stallion. Megan the Stallion, little baby. But who's like baby. the singer? I wonder who's Probably like because si- like the way she's singing that almost kind of gives off like a yodel. It's like kind of yodely, like it's giving off like a country twang. Post Malone kind of has that sometimes. I yeah, guess. but like if I remember correctly, with like. When they showed like the ranking thing in the last episode, remember she was like kind of towards the bottom, I think. I mean, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, well, I'm interested to see what he says because there's a big but before this clip, so. <laughs> they like to throw us off like that. They're saying they won't even debut with all members. <laughs> There's your butt. Yeah, I knew you to go to the house. I'm going 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 to go imbalance oh no oh no Sometimes less is more. Maybe that's what he's like trying to say in this situation. That's tough because it's like, I don't even like, okay, maybe if they are performing the whole song, it's like three minutes, and then it's like, this might be your last chance to like debut. And so, the, like, she's probably wanting to show, like she said, like, everything she's got. So she's trying to, like, cram it all into, like, w- this one performance. But then that could also, like, backfire. So. And they might be eliminating someone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, that's, my, that's what they might be thinking right now. But we right. know the truth. Right. We know the truth, YG. <laughs> <웃음> 울 생각이 전혀 없었어요. 저는 울려고 한 적이 없었는데 이제 딱 호환이 나가지고 이제 저한테 이제 아연아 이거 이렇게 했던 거 어때? 막 이렇게 얘기하시는데 누구 말 때문에 서럽다 이런 게 아니고 그냥 그 상황이 뭔가 저를 짓누르는 느낌이었어요. <웃음> She got to.
일단 곡이 한번 바뀌었잖아요. 그 부담감이 좀더 쌓인 것 같긴 해요. I feel like she should try an R&B song. 가하는 정말 약간 위험한 사랑이 주제잖아요. 정말 애절하고 간절하고 그 위험 속에서도 이 사랑을 너무나 갈구하는 그런 노래인데 제가 막 해봤어요, 알죠? 이거. <웃음> 이 찰리푸스의 Dangerously라는 노래는요 제가 여태까지 한 번도 도전해보지 못한 장르라서 예이. 완전히 바뀐 모습을 보여드리면 좋을 것 같다는 생각에 잘해서 또 좋은 결과 있었으면 좋겠습니다 음. It's either gonna be good or bad well, I mean, That's how it usually goes <laughs> No, but what I'm saying is that like She's never sang a song in this genre before it's risky because then if she doesn't pull it off well then it's like she could get eliminated let's go um that was a short one oh. 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 Right? what how long was this <gasps> <laughs> 마지막으로 했을 때 이거다 하고 이렇게 딱 꽂히는 곡 조금 더 저희한테는 어울리는 것 같아서 그 곡을 하게 되었습니다. 음, interesting. That's an interesting song choice. 제가 하음이라는 게 같이 소리가 섞이는 거다 보니까 너무 어려워요. Interesting. That's that was you. I think you. If you heard that song, you would know it. Um. What was I going to say? Oh, okay. Out of so so far, out of everyone's. Rama crazy, dude. Rama <laughs> crazy. Well, we still have Ion, but out of everyone that's gone so far, who who's your like favorite performance? Rama crazy, dude. <laughs> that was pretty good. Rora also went crazy, but mm. Haran just went crazy. Yeah, hers was one of my favorites too. Actually, I think I would. Uh, it's so tough. It's either mm, between Ruka. And Asa, and then Haram. Those are my top three. Wow. Yeah, I'm still. I have a little doubt about the Ion performance. We'll see. I got faith. <laughs> Ugh, very. And that last she song choice is very interesting. Look. Hey, they're interesting people. I know, but it's like not like. Mm, I don't know. Who sings that song? Scars, you're beautiful. Yeah, this was popular. Oh, oh yeah. Wait, how does it go? Oh, that's who she kind of sounds. Wait. No, 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 not. Play, no, dude, no. I have no idea. I, the, the, um, unless the car sounds super familiar. You, you know this song. She, I am okay. I feel like her voice would kind of. She just wants to be beautiful. She goes unnoticed. Oh, okay. she knows. yeah. No limits, she crave. I feel like Ion could her Alessia Cara songs might suit Ion's voice because like because she has that like in like such an interesting tone like similar to Jenny. I feel like it's really like you have to be really careful about like your song choice. I feel like uh, Chiquita or Farida could pull off the song. Yeah, for sure. Haram too. I feel like Haram could make that like her own. Like Haram's it would be monster, more dude. like R and B style, but Haram is a monster. So Baby wonder, monster. They're probably gonna throw in some rap, rap verses, obviously. Um, well, I'm dragging these episodes out, man. I know they should have just thrown hers in there I and know. then start the next one like with the vocal, the group performance. What S six to so seven eight? Okay, so possibly, excuse me, two more episodes. Maybe there'll be ten. Who knows? Yeah. Um. On a side note, 
how many of you guys watched Blackpink's Coachella performance? Oh, yeah. It's YG. Um, YG Another related. YG related. Um, we watched. It was very few, cool. Had uh, friends that were there. Um, it would have been cool to attend. Um, but Coachella is extremely tiring for anyone that hasn't been yet. It's yeah. Like, it's like four it's days. days like, four sometimes if you're there on Thursday. Oh, yeah. It's camping and walking around like thousands of And it's of hot. Sweat. Very hot. Extremely hot and dry. Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so we watched the performance and they were really good. And I, I was nice to see that they like pretty much did like a whole like new set of their songs because we saw them in concert in October and their performances were pretty much like all different from what they performed in concert. So that was cool. Because yeah. usually when oh, yeah, they're yeah. on tour, they'll usually just carry yeah, like it over. Choreo too. Yeah, they had um, like a chair, different choreography. A chair section. Yeah, so oh, Lisa Jisoo, was popping off. GC performed Flower. She switched her song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Lisa was cussing up a storm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, ha- I have friends that don't uh, like are not too familiar with K-pop at all. And they're like texting me like, oh, Lisa's my favorite. <laughs> I mean, it's it's Lisa like, effect. Yeah. <laughs> and she, she, her, I mean, money's very Western sounding. So mm-hmm. obviously they were going to gravitate towards her. <laughs> yeah. But very cool. Very happy for them. Um, they're like all over social media. They're oh, and then another side note, um, YG affiliated. Lee Jung also is on a show we're watching with. Um, oh, yeah. Chaewon from La Seraphim and Mion from G-Idol. And Yena. And, yeah, there's a, there's a, what, six people? Mm-hmm. Really funny show. Yeah, we don't know the name of the show. It's the, it's the name, it's like their fir- the first syllable of, the, of all their names into like one big word. <laughs> it, we'll insert a thumbnail. Gonna, I'm not even going to try <laughs> saying it. <laughs> yeah, but that's pretty funny. It's like, um, yay, me. No, it's like Something. long. It's a long like acronym for all their names, but. Yeah, let us know in the comments what you guys thought, whose performance from this episode did you like the best, um, what you think of Ion's song choice, <laughs> um, and we'll be back with episode seven, um, yeah, probably at the end of the week, so we'll see you guys then.